Hey, what's going on guys? Killing Zombies are back in another video. And today, I have another review for today. Uh, I do apologize for the lack of uploads of reviews, considering I've done a lot of unboxing videos. Um, of course, I do still have more stuff coming, but I will not be doing videos of unboxings and openings on them. Just so we can have more of, uh... Reviews for trying rations out. So for this video, we have uh, a lifeboat or life raft, life raft ration that we have opened uh, from what I've uh, bidded on eBay from, and we're actually gonna try this out today. So this one is a Seven Oceans Standard Emergency Ration for lifeboats and life rafts. Approximately 2,500 calories comes in this whole entire pack, it seems. So, it comes from Belgium, Norway. Let's see if I can pause that. That's all the countries. I don't know what that's all about, I guess. I guess just telling you all the countries. And then... So different languages for, I guess, the uh, ingredients. And then we have the nutritional facts. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is fully opened. Okay. Now, the date of these actually are from... Don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, 1998. These did supposedly expire or have uh, had a five-year shelf life. Uh, back in 2003, it uh, it's Best Buy went bad or whatnot. Um, that was in August. This one was in September. Now, whether or not it's actually still good, that will be you'll be finding out today. So, this is quite old. If we're going off by the 2003 date, then it is very old. It's uh, 19 years old, but if we are going off of the other date from 1998, then it's looking at about 24 years old. So, that's pretty old just for a ration alone. Or survival bars. Now, these do come with nine of them, it looks like. Maybe twelve. Or maybe nine of them. Uh, Russian. So, does say to use one pack. Nine bars, 18 tablets. Well... There is a tear on here, but we're not going to bother. Didn't hear any hiss. So, let's get this opened up. You know, that makes me want... You know what this actually is, I think? Ugh. Well, the foil definitely, maybe these aren't bad, I don't know. They don't have, they have a weird funky smell to it though. Not like an overly bad one. But, um, these look exactly the same as the ones we've gotten from Minotaur himself. So, let's get these opened up. Now, like I said, if I'm gonna find out that some of these are rancid, or whatnot, I'm not putting myself in hands of risk. That goes for any kind of ration that I review that's old, old, like dated from 2005, which I still have a bunch of those I do want to review on. Okay, I think we're gonna open two up just for one for like showing. I don't know about these other five, I'll probably have to put them back in, but. That's what we got. We'll put these thrown away. 
oops, a daisy. But we'll have two that we will try. So let's give a little look on these. So kind of looks like a shortbread cookie. Um, yeah, very compressed. Does have a line in the middle that you can break in half. It does leave this little oily residue. So let's open it up. Why not? Can't be that bad, can it? So these lifeboat bars have, I think, just maybe a little bit of shortening, a lot of fat in it, and it's pretty much it. Uh, and carbohydrates. So as you can see, it's literally just a compressed food bar. I guess the only way to find out if it's really good is uh, trying it out. Now, due to these being probably very, very dry, and I haven't tried these ones exactly, I do have some uh, green tea to uh, wash that down. So. Let's hopefully pray that this is still good. Uh, let's go for the bite. That was a big bite. Okay. And I'm going to be very honest with you. Obviously, I don't know what you can expect from something being 24 years old or so. A little over 24 years old. Now, here's what's the thing. The bars itself do not smell that bad. But the taste, I don't know if it's what the bar is supposed to taste like, but it tastes very chemically. Like, very just... Not even bland. Heck, the the bars, the food bars that we've gotten from Minotaur Trading Company uh, subscription boxes... Sad to say it, but those had more flavor, uh, even though they were a food bar, than these ones. Obviously, the manufacturer or the company is different, of course. But, they both come from Norway. So, whether or not these are the same bars, but it's just a different company or manufacturer, no clue. But, bar smells okay, but it has that chemically undertone. The taste of it, though, is very foul. I don't like it whatsoever. I'm not going to eat it. But I got a bunch of these now. <laughs> Once for the shelf, and I have a bunch of these now. To, uh, nothing to do with. Um, what I might do is... If you'd like to have uh, any of these bars, whatnot... Uh, I can send a couple your way if you collect rations. Um, I can send a couple of these your way uh, to put on your shelf. Um, all you would really have to do is just pay for the shipping, which I can just throw it into an envelope and send it your way. But other than that, uh, let's see, we have two, four, six, eight. We have eight. I can either send this to a different, I mean, four different people, and I have two bars I can go for each for you, or figure it out of how many people that want it. Now, might want to put these in a pack, of, or a little tiny like baggy or something to keep it somewhat sealed where. It's not that bad as far as if it does crumble, it doesn't crumble all over the rest of your rations and stuff. But that's pretty cool that I was able to still kind of have two uh, vintage uh, lifeboat rations or lifeboat bars uh, that I could try. Because I was kind of curious of how they would taste. But as... What I've came across, they are not really that tasty. So, 
yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel down below. And turn on post notifications so you do not miss out future videos I post, rations I try out, and I review. And as always, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Have a good day, guys.